On the test bench today, we have a lightweight concrete mix, two parts perlite to one part cement. That is a high ratio of cement as far as lightweight concrete mix design goes. And it should be interesting to see how strong this is. It should be pretty strong. I expect it to be pretty strong. So how much weight is it going to take before it breaks? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, first things I first thing I have to do here is I have to weigh it. Mm, it's pretty heavy. So our control group is three to one sand to cement, 26 pounds, which bore 20, 94 pounds of weight before it broke. Uh, again, there's no reinforcement in here. There's no steel or anything like that. This is just the mix design itself that I'm testing. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so it was 15 and a half there, but let's go ahead and just, I think we should retest that because it's, anytime it doesn't stand, I like to weigh it twice just to make sure. I try to not interfere with the weight, but you know, it's a little hard. Fifteen and a half as well. I'm going to go ahead and take that as the number. I'm pretty confident we're good. One more time, not convinced. Yeah, it's still 15.5, okay. Let's go ahead and get started now. So how much weight is this thing going to take before it breaks? Most of the other strength to weight ratio tests have been in the three range. That's so that would mean we're going to be just shy of 50 pounds, which is essentially a full bucket of somewhat damp sand. I could see it taking that. I could see it taking that. It was a wet mix. So, you know, that makes me think it'll probably be a little bit weaker, but I expect it should maybe take a full bucket and uh, we'll see. I guess let's just get started. I don't think I mentioned it in this video yet. So it, it's a 28 inch span and our test block is one inch thick. In this case, two parts per light to one part cement. That's a high ratio of cement. It would be like an expensive mix, for example, because it has a lot of cement in it. The cement is, you know, one of the expensive components, kind of the main component. It was still quite a bit lighter though. Like look at the, the full weight test block was 26 pounds. This was more than 10 pounds lighter for the same size test block. All right, I think we're going to need to crack it a second, Whew, second bucket. <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to be playing that Jack in the Box game from being a kid that scared the bejesus out of you. Whew, okay, good times. Okay. What did we learn here? Well, Steve drinks a lot of coffee. <clears throat> That's a lot of weight. I don't think we've got a strength to weight ratio over three, but let's go ahead and weigh it up. Take a look. Oh, our break is well off the center. Three inches plus. Forty-five point eight nine. 
2.96 less than I would have thought again a wet mix anytime I'm dealing with a wet mix I'm I'm thinking oh forgot a glove don't want to ruin the magic of the internet here keep the illusion of continuity Let's see here no obvious fault line there or anything but take a look at that consolidation it's pretty good I would have thought it would be stronger, but I can see, like you can see the hydration lines on the surface. If I can see that, that's, it was a pretty wet mix. Still, I would have thought it would be stronger, but I don't really expect Perlite to be one of the stronger ones. It's not really my go-to. I would prefer Vermiculite for a stronger mix, but I guess that's what we're learning here, right? Uh, so 2.96, it's one of the lower scores overall. Um, there was a little wiggle to the bucket that could have contributed to the early failure. Um, I mean, I'm not done testing these. I'm going to make new ones, try it again, and uh, maybe I'll see you back here again and we can learn some more about lightweight concrete.